Hi, I'm Carl Conrad. I'm a part of the team at Australian Immigration Law Services and we are registered migration agents based in Sydney and we provide services for people to work, live and study in Australia. And welcome to our February update of Australian Immigration News. We have a few new things to cover, so let's get straight into it. Big piece of news that came at the end of January was the new requirements released by the Tasmanian government for the 190 and the 491 visa state nomination requirements. Yes, Tasmania has opened its doors to offshore applicants. The changes were not as dramatic as expected with only minor fine tuning done to Tasmania's overall nomination program. Tasmania provides some transitional arrangements to ensure those who had made the move to Tasmania already would not be adversely affected by the new requirements. The most significant change was the opening to offshore applicants for those who have occupations on the Tasmania Skilled Occupation List and those who have job offers in Tasmania. We have produced a comprehensive video on this topic already, so please check it out for the details. Now don't forget to like our videos to support the growth of this channel. Last week on Friday, the South Australian Government released its new occupation list as requirements for potential applicants interested in the 491 and 190 state or territory sponsored visas. Many people have been waiting for this. There are heaps of occupations on the list and each of them have their own requirements to meet for state sponsorship. From the 8th of February, you can apply directly to South Australia if you think you meet the requirements for your particular occupation. If you're applying through the Innovation and Talent Stream, you need to lodge an expression of interest first with the South Australian Government and then they will invite you to apply. Stay tuned to our new video coming up on South Australia Sponsorship. New South Wales is set to open its sponsorship applications for the 491 visa in February, but at the time this video was published, this had still not occurred. We are sure they will keep to their word and are already prepared for the flood of applications to come their way. Queensland has opened its sponsorship applications for the 491 and 190 visas and you guessed it, they are only for applicants who are residing in Australia. They have two basic categories open, working in Queensland and purchasing a small business in Queensland. Well, I guess it could be a large business if you were brave enough. Queensland's application process requires you to register your expression of interest with the Immigration Department on Skill Select selecting Queensland for the location of your choice. Your EOI must be submitted during the window when Queensland Skill Program is open. The Queensland Government will then look at the expression of interest in Skill Select and then, if you meet their criteria, we'll send you an invitation to apply to them. And off you go. We'll be making a video shortly about the Queensland 491 and 190 selection criteria, so keep an eye out for that one too. That's all for now, so thank you so much for tuning in. To make sure you are always updated with the latest Australian Immigration Law news, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And remember, your support means the world to us. If you want to read more about visas and requirements, head over to australiavisa.com and check out our EMI News blog. Follow us on Facebook as well, where we share all the updates, such as when states open or close for their sponsorship applications. As always, take care out there and I will see you next time. So bye for now.